On Wednesday, April 10th, Hiller Baseball took on Holliston. The Hillers led 2-1 heading into the bottom of the fifth and would add on to the lead. Right up in the pitch, there's a bunt. Slow roller, and it is picked up, throw to first. Not in time, everybody's safe, and a run scores. I think I called that. Did I not call that? Gets a piece of this one over to center field. It's caught. Simos going to tag from third. The throw in is not in time, and another Hillers run scores. Four to one heading to the bottom of the sixth, and the Hillers added some insurance runs. Out of West Point, hit his first home run. Up ground the ground ball. Glove by the shortstop. Oh. Throw home, and not in time. The run scores. Buddy McGuire comes around to make it five to one, Hillers. Fan favorite. You know, get a piece of this one over to left field, and that gets down for a base hit. One run is in to score, and the lead runner behind him heading to third. He's safe as the ball will end up over in the foul territory on the third base side. It's an RBI base hit for Bobby Pagliuca. The Hillers add five more insurance runs, and they take the game 9-1. to one. Hillers baseball then went on to beat Ashland and Barnstable, but fell in a road game to Bishop Fian. The Hillers are currently 3-1 and one on the season. Hillers softball started off their season with a 25-5 mercy win over Holliston on April 10th. The next day, the scoring continued against Dover Sherborne. Hillers entered the bottom of the third, leading 4 to nothing. The hotter deals. And this is up the middle, past the reach of everybody. One run is around. Here comes Whalen, and she will score easily. It's 7 nothing Hillers. A two RBI single for Katie Holly. For the Hillers, three more runs have come around so far this inning as this is driven over to left field to the wall. See you later. Home run, Jillian Cedia, a three-run blast, and it's 10-0 Hillers. She doesn't need a pinch runner for this. That's her first of five, I said this year. A moonshot by Jillian Cedia, and the Hillers have broken this game wide open. Six runs came across to score in the inning. The Hillers added six more in the bottom of the fourth and took the five-inning mercy 16-1. The next day, the Hillers took down Ashland on the road 10-3. On April 16th, the Hillers hosted Lincoln Sudbury and fell in 10 innings 5-4. On April 17th, the Hillers took on Milford. Top of the fourth, Hillers leading 3-1. Center fielder Katie Holly made an unbelievable play. And this is ripped into center field, but caught by Katie Holly. And that is going to be out number one. Carly out Ferreira is going to be thrown out as well. What a throw from Holly to get it over to Morse at first base. And they caught Ferreira off guard for that's, the double play. That's heads up. What a missile. Katie Holly doubles up the Scarlet Hawks. The next hitter struck out, and the Hillers would rally in the bottom of the fourth. Delivers, and this is hit in the air. Past the reach of the shortstop, here comes Katie Holly. It's a 4-1 game, an RBI single for Alyssa McIntyre. Full count pitch. And this is ripped into center. Failed past the reach of the center fielder. I think it went off her glove. Here comes Alyssa McIntyre. It's a 5-1 game. Another ribby for Juliana Cedia. The Hillers added three runs in the inning and would end up taking the game in a six-inning mercy, 13-1. Hopkinton Hillers softball currently stands at four wins and one loss on the season.